All your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. Just about 515 here on this Tuesday morning, and we've got a few thunderstorms across portions of the area. Quite the lightning show with the, some of these too. So we're looking back towards the west from our Emporia camera right at that cell moving through western Lyon County too. Getting some heavier downpours, maybe even some small hail embedded in there, but we're not seeing any severe weather this morning. This is our central Topeka camera where we're sitting at 62 degrees. We do not have any storms around Topeka, but if you look just off to the south, you're going to get a really nice lightning show here this morning looking back at these thunderstorms. Here's a quick look at Max Track Radar. We've seen them really just bubble up over the last couple of hours, and they're really not moving super fast, and we're actually seeing this cell here throughout Lyon County. That's the fastest moving one that we're seeing. That's zipping up towards Americus. Eventually, if it holds together, we'll make it up towards Allen. But some of these storms throughout Coffee and Anderson County, they're kind of just dumping over the same spot. So you're getting some pretty decent down for downpours just to the south of Waverly and in between Ozark and Garnett this morning. Now, as we go throughout the rest of the day, we are expecting more of a southeasterly breeze that's going to bring in a little bit more moisture for us and help to fuel another chance for storms later on this afternoon. So wind speeds right now are about 5 to 10 miles per hour where we've got those storms throughout Anderson and Coffee counties. Even Lyon County, we're seeing some slightly stronger breezes currently. But as we go throughout this afternoon, we'll likely see widespread winds about 15 to 20 miles per hour, maybe some gusts as high as around 30 miles per hour possible. And eventually we'll see those backing off later on tonight. So that is going to bring warmer temperatures for us too. We're already starting off in the low 60s across the area at 61 in Lawrence. Same goes for Marysville, 60 degrees at Junction City. We're at 63 in Manhattan and 66 to start off with in Emporia. Later today, we'll likely warm up into the mid, maybe even some upper 80s right before our next chance for thunderstorms arrives later on today. And then we'll see our numbers falling back into the low 60s tonight. More 80s on the way for Wednesday, but we may be just a few degrees cooler just with some extra cloud cover around. So there's another look at our satellite and radar where we've seen these storms kind of uh, develop, kind of line up just a little bit throughout our southern counties. Not expecting severe weather this morning, but by the time we get to this afternoon, we could see that second round of storms coming in, and that's the one that could feature those strong to severe thunderstorms. So as we go throughout the today, we should start to see maybe some showers and storms bubbling up throughout this afternoon, diving to the south and east, and then another opportunity for some of those storms later on tonight as those zip on through the area. Those could feature some stronger hail, some damaging wind gusts, and maybe even lingering into the morning on Wednesday. Another chance to see some showers and storms bubbling up throughout the afternoon and evening on Wednesday, and then again as we go throughout the daytime on Thursday. So we're still getting a lot of model variability over the last couple of days. And that's lingering into parts of the last half of the week, too, which makes it kind of hard to nail down our exact storm chances timing of that. But later on today, just know that the main threats that we could see would be some larger hail, some gusty winds across portions of the area, certainly some heavier downpours if we can get into one of those thunderstorms here across the area. But we do have a chance for storms pretty much each and every day for the rest of the week. Just know that at any time we could see some of those storms become stronger, even severe. So just keep it here. We'll keep you updated as we go throughout the next Next several days. Temperatures though do stay very warm. We'll be in those 80s all throughout the first part of the weekend. We do cool down a little bit Sunday into Monday.